So today's project is going to be a little scroll saw segmentation. It's a, I'm going to make a little ornamental fish and I've got some spare 2 by laid around so I'm going to come up with a real basic idea. Of course when I go to cut this out um, on the scroll saw I can, uh, I can change it slightly but I'm just coming up with an idea first here so let's sketch one out here. What we'll do is we'll cut this off, spray it out with some adhesive, and put it on that spare two by that I have. It is pretty on. rough right now. I'll probably run this through the surface planer to get a little bit more even, but it is pretty rough. So uh, this is an inch and a half, obviously, but uh, but I'll plane it down. The thickness really doesn't matter. You just don't want too thin. You want this to be a little bit bulkier. That looks a lot better. All right. Hit it with a little 3M spray adhesive. All right, she's ready to uh, cut out. I think I'll trim this up a little bit on the bandsaw. Now that should be a little bit more manageable. And let's bring it over to my little uh, scroll saw here. First, I like to go around the outside edges. I'll cut that out with like a three-quarter inch Forstner bit. I'll go around the edges and uh, segment them out. So let's start just like a jig jigsaw puzzle. So there it is. I've got all of the outside edges done. Now what I need to do is simply uh, separate out the fins, the tail, these two fins and I'll cut out the eye and I want to just simply disassemble this like a puzzle I will round over all the edges and then it'll be put back together but I think before I go on I'm going to drill out that, that eye hole real quick Okay, so now I have all my pieces all cut out, and let's go ahead and put them back together and lay them out. Okay, so now it's all laid out, and what we want to do is we want to start rounding over the edges to give it some dimension. It's just really, this is where you become a little more artistic with it, because you can make it as more 3D or less 3D or flat, however you want it. Finishing it is up to you. Now we're going to start shaping it and this is kind of where it gets really fun. So the first thing is I want to do these top fins, but like I said, I want to have these a little bit thinner. So just to give it dimension, I'm going to cut these things down. So I'll just eye it. I mean, you could draw it out if you wanted to, but... There, and I think I'll do it on the, same, the other side as well. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with your fingers so close to the blade, I like to use a pair of channel locks and you can just pick it up that way. You know, that's a better thickness for a, uh, for a fin. That's better. Now you can start rounding that over just by simply Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, the Dremel to put some notches in it for a fin. Alright, let's go ahead and put it over by the uh, fish and see what it looks like. Okay, so as I'm making progress, as you see, I've got the uh, fin with some detail in there. It's not going to sit back, it's going to fit perfectly right where it was cut out. As you see, I did the backbone all rounded over with a nice deep curve. So I'm going to keep working on it. We'll see what it's like once I've rounded over everything. Okay, so I got all the pieces laid out here. I think what I'll do is I think I'm going to paint them and then I will 
uh, glued all the segments together. I think it'll be easier to get around it and to hold it. I mean, you could certainly do it together, uh, or you could certainly stain it different colors. You know, whatever you feel comfortable doing. It's it's an art project. It's a craft project. It's woodworking. It's a little of everything. So uh, let me work on it, and we'll mix some custom colors. I like to use these little condiment cups here and. My technique is what I'm doing is, is I want that wood to show through. Now this is a bad example because it's brown on brown. But I'm just kind of getting it on there everywhere. I'm leaving the spots where I want to glue it, but you know, just kind of a little bit, just so it gives it a little edge to glue on. I'm kind of just putting it on loosely, nothing really. I'll get the crevices in there. Now what I'm doing is, is because I got the rubber gloves on it, I'm just kind of coating the whole thing, taking some paper, or some towels here, I got the, the shop towels, and just wiping it off. And what that's doing is, is that's giving me a little bit of grain through the wood, and it's also giving me a nice surface that when I do decide to uh, clear lacquer it, it should look pretty good. Alright, everything's all painted down. You can kind of see the color palette I did. I made it a light enough that you can kind of see the wood through it. And pick some colors that are all sort of salmon looking colors. So we get it all together here. We'll take a look at it better. Okay, I got everything all ready to glue up and got the old CA glue out. Makes it a little easier. It's not, I mean, it's just really to hold it together. You do not need a whole lot of this. Um, spraying a little accelerator, that's really going to make a difference, but. Right. Hold it secure there for a moment. Now on the top bins, I don't want to glue them down like this because then it won't look right. So you got to just make sure you center them right where they came off of the wood. All right, there it is. It's all assembled and put together. Now we just have to uh, give it just a few minutes to dry and then I'm going to spray lacquer the whole thing. I believe I'm going to put a uh, dowel through this so it will stand up. So I think I'm going to make a little base for this so that I can have it as a freestanding. Okay, there she is. I got her on a stand and just a simple dowel and I guess you could turn it either way. Uh, now I just need to finish it. I think once I've got it all, all set up here. Um, Alright, there she is. All complete. I got a couple layers of uh, spray lacquer on there. I mounted it to a little base there with a uh, dowel. I kind of just did an odd shape there. And that's it. I've got a uh, Kind of a salmon color with the blue. I got some speckles on there and uh, I think she came out pretty good. I got a perfect place for it and uh, maybe it'll inspire you to come up with your own design. I think I'm going to do another one but I think I'm going to make a robot. I think that would be cool. So I'll keep you up to date and thanks for watching and I appreciate it and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. Thanks. Have a great day.